Hello and welcome to Crown Oaks Day here at Flemington. It's day three of the Melbourne Cup Carnival and the ladies take centre stage on and off the track today. Our feature event is the staying contest for the three-year-old fillies. Of course, the absence of Atlantic Jewel has delivered us an open contest here. Plenty of eyes on Bart Cummings. Can he win a tenth Oaks here with gliding? A terrific lineup. Dowager Queen is the New Zealand filly. Machines come through an unconventional lead-up through the Meyer Classic. And Mick Kent, well done. Three runners in today's feature, Victoria. Perhaps the pick of those. See who took the prize. Gliding next, can't go on, Dowager Queen, but Machine, she sprinted away from them at the 300. She opened up four links on Dowager Queen, Roma Giaconda and Vittoria, but it is all Machine with 120 metres to go. She's five or six lengths in front, dictated it out in front, and uh, Danny Nicolix going to finally win this Oaks, and Machine romped it in by seven links. Dowager Queen, Roma Giaconda. We'd always, the Oaks was always part of the aim. A thousand guineas was our major aim. But this was part of it if she trained on, she had the constitution to train on, but after Kavanaugh's fill in the thousand guineas, we just said, just don't want to race it again. And going through the Maya Classic was still an option into the Oaks, so it wasn't like it wasn't like um, we were giving up the dream of the Oaks, but it was still an option and, and sometimes, you know, a mile race leading into the twenty five is, is, is not a bad option either. Yes, it was. It was way too easy. There was no betting. When I got to when I got to the, uh, the 600, so they'd have to break down to get beat because she just cantering, she was breathing good. I know she can reel off better sections than any of those fillies and you know she was the class horse as, as long as she got a pretty easy in front. Well, Moshin relishes the absence there of Atlantic Jewel to score a runaway victory in the Crown Oaks. Well, the first of the support card we're having a look at today is the Gucci Stakes over 1,200 metres. So who took the price. Satin shoes on the far side, and uh, with her is Emmeline. They might have run to the lead ahead of Zipper the Ripper. Now Anise really has to dig in down the outside. It's Emmeline in front with about 150 to go. Anise and Miss Delabella coming after her. Emmeline is the leader. Emmeline from Miss Delabella, Shopaholic and Anise. Emmeline clinging on, and Emmeline won the money by three quarters. Miss Delabella. Yes, yeah, she's definitely doing the job. Um, it's really only her first prep with space to races, and um, she's a late developer, and you know I think she can turn in something quite smart. I wasn't sure what he was doing at the start. He, he said he might go straight. He just wanted to see how he began. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to follow her. She's a quality filly, satin shoes. She'll take me into most of the straight, and then I'll have to do it the rest if I was going good enough, of course. And, um, yeah, I just rode her nice and confidently. And once I got up beside satin shoes, I thought I'd just get her over to the other other bunch of horses so she didn't lose sight of what she was doing. Well, there's the Queensland visitor, Emmeline, winning the Phillies sprint there. Well, the other listed event we're having a look at today is the Swiss Vitamin Sprint. Master Harry for Peter Moody, sent out favourite. Sergeant Charge well back and Beltoir unleashing down the outside. Canali with Master Harry the claimer at the uh, clock tower now. Paturbo joins in. Cascabel bursting through. Canali with rocking force. Paturbo. Canali clinging on. Rocking force driving at him on the inside. They hit the line. Rocking force and nose Canali, I'd say. We've had a few problems with that lately. We, we had him in on Tuesday and didn't get a run. And um, this was the backup race for doesn't matter now, does it? <laughs> Just been beaten a couple of times in short, uh, tight finishes, so um, always felt that he was a horse that has a nice race in him. And obviously, Manny does a very good job with the horse because he's obviously uh, got leg problems, so um, good effort today. Well, there's the first emergency sneaking into the field, rocking force and coming away with a victory in the Swiss Vitamins. All honours today, Crown Oaks Day, going to Moshin, an outstanding performance for Robert Smurden and Danny Nikolic. One more day to go in the Melbourne Cup Carnival, and what a day it'll be. Black Caviar shooting for 16 straight. If you're coming trackside, remember you've got to pre-purchase your tickets. You can do that through Ticketmaster. Stay tuned for more news.